Right, my name's Martin, Nathan here. So today I want to let you on know about one very old video game. Uh, I don't know how old it was originally. It was a game that I myself and someone who actually hired um, a long, long time ago. Um, unfortunately, we are no longer working together, so I can't work on the I can't work on the game anymore. No, not because it's obviously due to lack of funding, I couldn't stay in the game much, so I've just decided to ban the entire project altogether. Um, that game, people, was Airline Transportation Tycoon. Now, if you don't know what that game was, um, <laughs> I had a fantasy of built like making money in video games, you know, anything that would deal with airlines, um, city building, business, anything that related to like business wise, but obviously. And the gaming just would be caught tycoon related, you know, topics. Anything with deals with money. Anyway, so um it was about like making your own airline. It was supposed to go in depth. That was my first that was my dream goal was to make it as detailed as possible. And obviously I was inspired by other games that had similar um like topics and how they functioned. You know, did they actually offer a storyline? Was there any challenges involved? And uh, where mine, it was mine was supposed to be at first, originally it was supposed to be like a signal play video game where you would make your own airline. But then some of these airline games that I've played in the past didn't actually have the atmosphere that you would expect it, where mine <laughs> originally was going to be the future of atmosphere in video games at the time, where you could physically pick between airports and when you made a name for this particular route such as I don't know flight so and so you know board at gate so and so so every time you had that um different flight names an announcer would would actually say it in those words or all those numbers depending on how you put it but Unfortunately enough, that didn't get to the that didn't happen that stage because we just didn't have the money and also unfortunately me and this other dev we just have been obviously unfortunately enough split apart. So it's no longer gonna happen. Um yeah, I've I paid the sponsor um Bongo Planes to get this game out so I can get views out. Because then um, also he talks about a lot about planes and I thought, oh yeah, hit him. He'll definitely bring my video game a lot more attention. And it, and it fucking did, people. I mean, I was absolutely fucking thrilled and all that. But uh, unfortunately, people, yeah, um, nothing went well and obviously it went downhill. So obviously, the game's completely abandoned, unfortunately. Enough. And not that I don't actually have the code anymore. Sad. I know, but I mean, what, what can I do? Obviously, I've still got the videos of the progress. Um, obviously, it wasn't made in the Unreal Engine. It was made in Unity. Um, obviously, the base thing in terms of like the layout, I used Cities XL or Cities Dub XL, one of the two, just to get like the jiffy. And how I want my game to like be based on like as a an inspiration. Like obviously rather than having like your kind of poor rich and different classes, mine was more like based around satisfaction on your actual economy, business, premium and first class. You know, in all respects. And um, also you had your ticketing system, anything, you know, you, you could pick what airport you depart from, where you fly from, you know, did your airline have to make any stopovers and if so, you know. And then we also, we let you pick what food, how much you would charge. You know, I decided to go in, in every possible detail I could really even think of. And um, unfortunate enough, yes, um, I did mention about the 9-11. Um, which also I did link a um, a website that you could donate to. But unfortunately, um, the the hard challenge, um, had the plane um 
like blowing up another super to crash into your the ground or whatever. Um, there was a lot of negative feedback with that. So at the time we were we originally I was gonna get changed, but then I thought, well, I mean, what how can it possibly be done? But it never happened in the fridge, so yeah, it, it, it's sad. So much money was spent on that game, people. So much money I spent on it, and what more can I possibly have done? You know, oh well, not to worry, I guess. But anywho, I mean, if you want to see how much progress I had done to it, you're more welcome to look at. Obviously, there will be like links to the main channel. Also, be tagging it as well as like you know the videos to it. So yeah. It's a shame really, but what more can I have done? I've tried my best making it. Hoping my dreams will come true for that game, but never happened. But honestly, it's not going to stop me from making other video games on my own. Because now I'm more independent, I know how to use certain um, gaming software such as the Unreal Engine 4. Now it's called the Unreal Engine 5, frankly. So yeah, time with all guess people. And of course, if you've got any questions like, you know, do I think I'll make another game like that? Possibly not, people. But anywho, if you have any other like, re like related questions regarding the game itself, feel free to ask me in the video, people. But just don't comment on those videos, people, because um, <laughs> I don't really respond to them, I've read. So, yeah, goodbye.